went from giant scary crabs to deep sea monsters. Here are 13 of the weirdest crustaceans ever. Hey Pablo, thanks for letting us know you're enjoying the content. It always makes our day to receive such epic comments. Be sure to let us know which of these crustaceans is your favorite, or favorites as the case might be. Arrowhead Crab. This creature's body has a triangular shape, along with long, thin legs that appear almost spider-like. The legs can grow around 4 inches long, or about 3 times the length of their body. While they look delicate, these marine crabs, found in waters including the Atlantic Ocean, are known to be aggressive and territorial. Opportunistic scavengers, they also prey on feather duster worms and bristle worms. And that unique appearance has made them popular with Aquarists. Buoy Barnacle. These creatures were initially misidentified as mollusks, but they are crustaceans. The barnacles are known to be immobile, as they feed on plankton. One species, though, is known to engage in a form of mobility. They can secrete a cement-like substance that resembles an expanded polystyrene foam. It uses that float to ride the ocean's currents if it can find no other suitable attachment. They're the only barnacles known to exhibit such behavior. Boxing Crab. This crustacean gets its pugilistic nickname thanks to its habit of using sea anemones as a type of boxing glove. The anemones have stinging cells, which the crabs can use as weapons against potential predators. The anemones are also used to collect food for the small crabs, which are found in the shallow waters of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Hairy Crab. Measuring less than one inch long, these critters are so small, you might not even notice they're covered with hair. They're walking legs and carapace are matted with a dense covering of setae, or bristly hair-like structures. The hairs can function as camouflage against predators, allowing them to blend in against the rocky reef environment. Hey, did you know that the females of some species of this crab can carry up to 800 eggs at a time? Zebra Mantis Shrimp Growing nearly 16 inches long, this is the world's largest species of mantis shrimp. And it's easy to see where the crustacean gets its name, from those stripes. These creatures have a spear-like appendage they use to ambush their prey, which are usually smaller fish. When the fish swims past, the zebra shrimp will use a slashing motion to impale it. They're found in the Indo-Pacific from East Africa to the Hawaiian Islands. Shame-faced crab. The small species of crabs are found in waters across the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. They get the strange name from the way their large front claws will fold up to seemingly cover its face. But the claws are actually used for cracking open the shells of their prey and digging themselves into the sand. And while under the sand, their claws can provide an air pocket, allowing the creature to breathe. Skeleton Shrimp. They're such small creatures, but their appearance can produce a big scare. The deep sea denizens are predators that are only a few millimeters in length, and their name is inspired by their thin, translucent bodies. That pale coloring helps them to stay camouflaged in seaweed while they bide their time on the seafloor, waiting for prey. The critters have invited comparisons to the praying mantis due to their angular appearance and hooked legs. Similar to that insect, the females of certain skeleton shrimp species are known to devour the males after consummating the relationship. Brutal. Did you know these shrimp can be some tiny terrors when it comes to their exploding populations? Their great numbers can outcompete larger commercial fish for available plankton and decimate newborn fish fry. Remipeds. Measuring around one and a half inches long and comprised of 42 body segments, these critters may look like centipedes, but they're actually crustaceans. However, experts have informed us that they're closely related to insects and are the first of their kind found to be venomous. They have hollow-tipped fangs to deliver venom that contains a mix of toxins, which serve to paralyze its victims and break down body tissue, making their victims easier to digest. Those same experts who informed us earlier, experts think the venom is an adaptation to their environment. The creatures are found in underwater caves off the Caribbean, the Canary Islands, and Western Australia. Prior to the discovery of remipeds, venomous crustaceans weren't even known to exist. Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish. Here's a crustacean that's unique in a number of ways. For one thing, it's really a lobster, not a crayfish. And it happens to be the largest freshwater invertebrate in the world. They can only be found in the rivers of northern Tasmania, where they have no natural predators. 
That's due in part to their large size, with some adult specimens documented at more than 30 inches long and weighing some 13 pounds. While they appear fearsome and heavy, these animals can also move pretty fast when they want to. Some of these crustaceans have been known to travel more than 700 meters in a single night. And while they don't have predators, the creatures are listed as an endangered species, with about 100,000 of them estimated to exist. Illegal fishing and habitat disturbance are among the greater threats. Pistol Shrimp These are small crustaceans that have a claw that is disproportionately larger than its body. These are small crustaceans that have a claw that is disproportionately larger than its body. The claw, which is larger than half the critter's body size, has a strange feature that is comprised of two parts. Instead of pincers, it has a pistol-shaped feature, and it has a hammer-shaped part that will snap into the other area of the claw. When the shrimp snaps its claw, it produces a cavitation bubble. It can reach speeds of more than 60 miles per hour and creates a noise that generates an excess of 200 decibels. When the bubble implodes, the effect creates temperatures that are nearly as hot as the sun's surface, more than 4,700 degrees Celsius. The incredible sound and pressure created by the bubble is strong enough to stun or immobilize smaller fish, and has even been known to shatter glass jars. Giant isopods, sometimes called the undersea wood louse due to its resemblance to its much smaller terrestrial cousin, these creatures can attain some huge proportions. That's especially true of species that live in the deep seas, at depths exceeding 8,000 feet. While the crustaceans normally grow to around two inches long, the phenomenon of deep sea gigantism can exaggerate those sizes to around 14 inches or more. Some species of giant isopods have seven pairs of legs and four sets of jaws. Accounts from the Bahamas have documented how these creatures have actually chewed through undersea cables of a shark monitoring station. And when experts tracked down the isopod responsible, it measured around 12 inches long. Normally, the animals are content with preying on fish and dead shrimp. While this creature was located in the Caribbean, various species of giant isopods have been documented in the Western Atlantic and the Indo-Pacific, given their large proportions. It's weird to note that their land-based relatives only measure about a centimeter long. Coconut Crab That dog in the picture seems to be amazed at the alien anthropods crawling about in front of it. Hopefully Fido won't try to play fetch with those critters because they have claws that are strong enough to crack open coconuts. That's a fair reason why they're called coconut crabs. And there's also a reason why they appear so huge, weighing around nine pounds and growing more than three feet long. They're the world's largest terrestrial invertebrates. And they're so cuckoo for coconuts that they're known to take some extreme measures to get at the husk nuts in her meat. The arthropods are known to climb some 30 feet up trees with coconuts in claw, then drop it to the ground to crack it open but the larger crabs can use their claws to achieve similar results. Honorable mention, sea spiders. They may not be true crustaceans. Actually, it seems the jury is still out as to their precise classification. Experts say that while they're marine anthropods, the critters are more closely related to true spiders than to crustaceans. But since there is some relation, and because they look so bizarre, we're including them here as an honorable mention. They can be found in waters around the world, and around 1,300 species have been documented so far. They can be found in a wide range of sizes, from less than 1 inch up to 35 inches or more. The larger sizes tend to occur in the freezing waters of the Antarctic. Experts say they grow to such large proportions due to the phenomenon we mentioned earlier of polar gigantism. That condition can also affect other marine life in polar regions, including certain mollusks. Japanese spider crab. So, going from a spider-like creature related to crustaceans to a crustacean that looks a lot like a giant spider, here's another one of those creatures that looks like it just beamed in from another planet. But the Japanese spider crab truly does exist, right here on Earth. As you would guess from the name, this critter is found in Japanese water. And given its size, you might not be surprised to find it has the greatest leg span of any living arthropod. Measured from claw to claw, they can range up to 18 feet at a weight of some 40 pounds, along with the aforementioned claws, which have a vice-like grip, and you've got yourself one creepy crustacean. Despite its appearance, the big crabs are actually said to be extremely relaxed. Cuckoo.